I hate seeing those poor whales like that. Me too. I just think of their families in the ocean out there looking for them. Well, that asshole is going to help us find Rachel. Or what? You'll actually shoot him? Chloe, do not count on my rewind. Seriously. Obviously, I'm not counting on you. That's why I have a gun. And I might even save you someday. About time. I am so going to hit you. There's no way we could have guessed this is what would happen to us when we grew up. I'm looking forward to the day when we can just go on a road trip to Portland. Fuck yeah. You, me, and Rachel. Absolutely. So let's play this cool, okay? Just pay Frank his money, and then we can get that code for the book from him. That's all. Got it. No dicking around. Let's roll. So now we have to see Frank all the way out here. Oh, look. The Wonder Twin. You should have come alone. She's my partner. Yeah, we're bodyguard. So let's get to business. Where's my fucking money? Oh, I thank you. That wasn't so hard now, was it? And let's not do any more business again. Now, if you excuse me. Frank? Could we ask you a couple quick questions? You have some serious lady balls. No. Jesus, okay. Okay. But I'm not getting you high. Frank, we're not here to get high. No. You don't look like the type. Not like Chloe here. So what do you hardy boys want? Just the names of some of your clients. Oh, is that all? Oh, well, why didn't you just tell me? How about I just give you the keys to my RV while I'm at it? Listen, Frank. I'm sorry to be such a nuisance, but this is important. Yeah, yeah, everything's important these days. But I can tell you're not bullshitting me. There's no time for that, Frank. I, I just need a little... Hey, yeah, well, it always starts with just a little. And Chloe here knows all about that, don't you? Come on, Frank, this isn't about me now. Yeah, right, okay. Both of you are giving me a headache. No deal. Frank, we didn't come here to fight. This is so much bigger than us. What, you, you come in peace? After you aimed a fucking gun at me, and then pulled the trigger! To be honest, Frank, you scared me. You held a knife on my friend. I didn't want to pull the trigger. I could tell by the way you held that pop gun, with both hands, like it was a Or maybe I shouldn't have brought that knife to a gunfight. I only want to shoot with my camera. I swear. Ask Chloe. Look, Frank, Max doesn't need a gun anyway. So are we cool? Please? Okay. We're cool for now. But my dog is... And if you try any shit, he will bite your head off. He's done it before. We're only here to talk. I wouldn't mess with your dog. 
Shit, you wouldn't have time. You like dogs? Chloe and I gave your doggy a bone when we... So you're the ones who let him out? You broke in here and let my dog out? What the fuck? Wait, that's not what... Seriously, Frank, don't get all spun out. We're only here to find Rachel. Rachel? Is that why you're really here? Yes, we're so close to finding her now, Frank. We need all the help we can get now, especially from you. You and Chloe do not know Rachel like I did, and I couldn't even help her. You're in way over your heads. Why don't you just go play in your clubhouse? Listen, I read Rachel's letter. I know how much she cares about you. You read that letter? Huh? The one in my RV? Are you fucking insane? You read my private letter?! Man, there is something about you that is so wrong. I don't trust you at all. Now get out of my face. We don't have much time, Frank. Rachel needs you. It's too late! She's gone! You don't even know her! Like you did? I loved her, asshole! And she loved me. I know that. Chloe, you don't know shit! You were part of her problem! Always trying to take her away from me! Always! Calm down, Frank. Let's just talk. Don't you ever tell me what to do! Get it, bitch! Get it! Step the fuck back now! <laughs> Papadou! You fucking killed my dog! Oh my god! Oh no! Chloe... I just shot a man... and his dog. I killed Frank Bowers. You saved my life, Chloe. It, it was self-defense for both of us. Max? Frank is really dead. I know. But we can't stop now. We have to find that code. Fast. Before the co cops come. That's it. Let's get out of here. Sorry, Frank. I'm sorry. Chloe actually killed Frank. She'll never forgive herself. Or forget this. And only I can change it. Chloe, are you okay? I'm sorry, I, it, I keep seeing Frank... dead. And I'm the one who killed him. Listen, you saved my life. And yours. We have to keep going forward. I better focus on this board and start tying these clues together. Thanks to David's own investigation, I should be able to find out what Nathan did during the party's week. This 
This makes no sense, Max. Looks like David was tracking somebody's car. Maybe even Nathan's. Good clue. Max, there's no logical link between those clues. This is like goddamn math. I suck. I hope in this case that David has good tracking skills. David should have done way more than take photos of Kate. Does David know what's going on with Rachel or is he just paranoid about everybody? Of course, I'm a suspect. <laughs> Proof, you need to get rid of these damn cameras, David. At least David was finally going after the right suspect. Look at all these license plates. I hope he was tailing Nathan. Let's look at Frank's drug deals during the week of the party. There's no doubt she loved him in some way. Max. Listen to me, Chloe. I'll handle everything, okay? I'm gonna study the board and figure out how to connect all these dots. I have to analyze Nathan's messages. What could help me unlock this phone? Fail. Abort. Wrong clues. Thanks to David's own investigation, I should be able to find out what Nathan did during the party's week.
no. This is not working. I'll have to analyze these plates and coordinates to see if Nathan was under David's surveillance. Spies are us. And that's all she wrote. Please let me find some clues about Nathan in here. Great. Now, how do I find out which car is Nathan's to match? Interesting. Is this Nathan's car? Hmm. Who does this car belong to? Of course Nathan drives an SUV. Overcompensating, as usual. There's Nathan dealing to the kids right out in the open. Damn. I, I must have missed something. That's definitely Chloe's car. Yep, another car David was tracking. Huh. Who else was David tracking here? Why the hell are you following these people? And to where? Wow, sir. This looks like an expensive machine. Come on. Deduce Nathan's license plate number, then match it up with the coordinates. This is like goddamn math. I suck. Oh, you're treading water, Otter. Okay, Nathan's taillight is busted. And I'm pretty sure I saw that on one of the license plate photos. Those clues are not related. Fail. Abort. Wrong clues. Okay, Nathan's taillight is busted. And I'm pretty sure I saw that on one of the- Looks like this is not relevant at all. Oh, no. This is not working. Okay, Nathan's taillight is busted. Max, there's no logical link between those clues. Nope. Maybe I should try to link other clues together. Okay, Nathan's taillight is busted. And I'm pretty sure I saw that on one of the license plate photos.
Maybe I should have let Warren beat Nathan's ass down. Just this once. Now we're finally getting somewhere. Chloe, I, I need you to go online. Chloe, Chloe, please listen. I know this is awful, but we're in it together, okay? I didn't have your back and I let you down. Please don't cry. Max, I'm, I'm gonna go to the police after we find Rachel. I can't live keeping this a secret and I don't wanna be a teenage fugitive on the run and, and dude, I swear I, I won't even mention you, okay? This is all me. Chloe, it was self-defense. I know you're hurting, but you have to just block out everything and keep moving forward. Rachel is waiting. <sighs> okay, you're right. Focus on Rachel. It's all about Rachel now. Okay. We will. And I know this week has been so weird and fucked up, but Chloe, I, this has to be our destiny. Or at least one of them. Let's just find out where this is all going to end, okay? For Rachel. For Kate. And for Frank. He was dragged into this bullshit, too. That's my Chloe. Now let's be a lean, mean research team. You have to go online and help decipher these coordinates. Because they might finally lead us to Rachel. Here we come, Rachel. Thanks, Chloe. have to analyze Nathan's messages. What could help me unlock this? Okay, Max, let's blow this code up and go home. Let's start hacking. Bad code. <sighs> yeah, I knew it wouldn't be that easy.
You locked it, dumbass. Yeah, I knew it wouldn't be that easy. You locked it, dumbass. Bad code. Yes, uh, this is all about Nathan trying to score for the Vortex Club party. Nathan was jonesing hard the night of the party. He didn't have enough drugs. Drug dealer drama. You're out of control. So it was you. Now I can- No, Nathan. It's time for you to watch out. Is this from Nathan's father? That's brutal.
Let's look at Frank's drug deals during the week of the party. Rot must stand for Rottweiler. That does fit Nathan. Rotten. Frank's account book. But the client names are encrypted. Yes, the game is on. Now, talk to us, account book. Tell us everything. See if I can find any deal Frank made with Nathan or the Vortex Club. I wonder what dog name Frank would have given me. I'm getting a contact high just reading this. Frank applied this kind of detail to his life? Who am I to talk? Everybody in Arcadia Bay must be high. That explains a lot. Frank sure is keeping his customers satisfied. He could open a store. Huh. Two deals with Nathan on the same day? Party supplies, no doubt. Oh, yes. These are all the times and places for Frank and Nathan's deals. Uh, that's it, Max. Take a breath, Max. Go through all this data and you can find out where Nathan took Kate after the party. Was Frank meeting Nathan at the junkyard? That beach is like Frank's main office. I know Nathan wasn't looking for Bigfoot in the forest. Somebody is stocking up on gas. Why? No doubt that Nathan stays in his dorm room. So he could be hiding clues there too. Not much out there. Oh, that has to be the Prescott estate. <sighs> Poor, rich Nathan. If Joyce knew what Nathan did to Chloe, she would fry his ass.
Those clues are not related. If I can match one of the text messages and transactions with Frank, then I can find the exact location. Fail. Abort. Wrong clues. Chloe, this is definitely the place. Let me dig up some more clues here. Nope. Nothing, Max. There's nothing here. Just a shitty old barn. Let's keep searching and find out who owns this haunted barn. I'm on this. Hold on. Somebody named Harry Aaron Prescott. I'm shocked. Should we call the police? Fuck that. You know the police here are like Nathan's private security, right? That's so messed up. As you've noticed, this whole town is messed up. We can't trust... anybody except each other so we have to go out to that farmhouse by ourselves I was afraid you'd say that we could call Warren since he kicked Nathan's ass it's just the two of us nobody else and I'm not scared at all you have the power I feel like we're this close to finding Rachel we have to find her Max we will but remember my power isn't infinite we still have to be careful do you hear, Chloe? Yes, sir. Holy 
shit, this is scary. I know. But we're here. Let's go find the best way in. Whoa, check this out. Fresh tire tracks. Dude, somebody was just here. Then we need to get in that barn. So Chloe and me actually killed somebody. What happens to us now? I found the front door. Come on. Oh, yes. Maximus rules. God, this is way too Blair Witch. I have goosebumps all over. Come on, Supermax. Hey, check out this old chest. A little louder, Chloe. Jeez, that is ancient. Jackpot. Old shit. No, no, look closer. Harry Aaron Prescott and family donate new library to Arcadia Bay. Prescott Industries celebrate grand opening. The Prescott's bring bomb shelter boom to town. Nice scrapbook. You search for more clues and I'll scope out the area. Old Prescott clippings. But that can't be the only thing here. This tractor has paid its dues. I guess the Prescotts were just born bastards. Okay, there's no reason for anybody to drive out here, but there must be. Wow, sir. Talk about home on the range. There's no way this rusty-ass button will activate these ropes or pulleys. Boring. Boring. If a zombie shows up, I have my weapon. Huh. These hooks are used to lift haystacks. I saw them in a Friday the 13th movie. Ah, the good old days. So many haystacks, so few needles. Old. Chloe would make a great detective too. Okay, there's no reason for anybody to drive out here. But there must be. Scope out the perimeter, Max. There has to be more here than this crate. <sighs> 
nothing here. Just rotting wood. Scope out the perimeter mess. There has to be more hidden crate. Whoa. What is this? It's totally brand new. Why? No, Supermax. You can't open this with your bare hands. Okay, Chloe. Um, I, I found some kind of hatch, but it's locked. I got this. I hope. Let me know the second you need any help. Chloe, can you give me a hand? Sidekick at your service. Up, up and away, Supermax. I dig having minions. <clears throat> that looks sturdy enough to stand on. Careful up there, Max. Here's the other end of the rope. Chloe, can you attach the hook to that padlock? Oh, you are clever. I am all over this. Thy will be done. Then you better step away from that hatch. Nope. I can't pull this rope without tearing my flesh off. I need to hook this up to something heavier. Please be careful up there, Max. <gasps> that looks sturdy enough to stand on. are fossilized. I need something strong to smash this padlock. Here's the other end of the rope.
Please be careful up there, Max. So that didn't work at all. Talk about heavy metal. I could use that to open the hatch. So, that didn't work at all. That looks sturdy enough to stand on. Hey, Chloe, can you attach the hook to that padlock? Oh, you are clever. I am all over this. Thy will be done. Then you better step away from that hatch. Driver strikes again.
scope out the perimeter, Max. There has to be more here than this crate. Damn, this is heavy. What is this? Jackpot. Do I even need to say how weird this is? He just did. Who built this kind of place? A press god, of course. This bunker is so surreal. First a padlock, then a digicode? Someone really doesn't want visitors. This is too heavy to break, so I'll need a code. That's a serious door. Oops, bad code. Oh yes, I thought that only worked in the movies. Open sesame. Stocked and ready for the apocalypse. This must have cost a fortune. Come on. Now what the hell? Water supplies. It's like in David's garage bunker. More survivalist supplies. Jesus, I already hate this place. Look at these cans. David must shop at the same store. Whoa. This says it all about Nathan. He needs help. Everything is sketchy as fuck, but nothing about Rachel here. Duct tape in a bunker is always a bad sign. I guess Nathan needs the most expensive printer in the world. That's an original signed illustration. It's perfect in here. What's with the Prescott's and creepy art? Come on, let's see what this shit is all about. We are. Okay, a binder marked Victoria, but it's empty. Look, the next one says Kate. Oh no, Kate. No. God, I should have killed that bastard back there. Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. <sighs> Victoria has to be next. Nathan must be planning to dose her tonight at the Vortex Club party. Rachel. This can't be real. These are all, these are all post shots, right? Right? Chloe, look at her face. She's out of it. Maybe, maybe Nathan, 
paid her a shitload of cash to do this. She probably would have. I don't think so. Why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. Then, then we can see what he did. There's no way she's dead. No way. She posed for those pictures, Max. I know it. Please, let's go. Oh my god. Rachel. Oh yeah, school suspension is a deal breaker in the Prescott family. Ah, the Apocalypse Entertainment System. So who's using this fancy tripod? I've never seen so much pricey equipment before. Frank won't be around to push this stuff. Frank won't be around to push this stuff. Needles. Gross. Slow down! Wait for me! I know exactly where I'm going! Look! This is it! This is it! Are you gonna help me, Max? Holy, stop! Look! No. Oh, oh, that smell. Rachel. Oh. No, Rachel, no, no, please, not her. Chloe. Rachel, I'm sorry, Chloe. I'm so sorry. I loved her so much! How can she be dead? What kind of world does this? Who does this? I hope Nathan enjoys his last party. Chloe, we can go right to the cops. 
We have proof. Fuck the police. Rachel wanted us to find her. So we could get real justice. And revenge. The Prescotts have had this coming for a hundred years, and nobody is gonna get in my way. Especially with your help. Right? I'm with you to the end, Chloe. You know that. Line. I can't tell if they're different. What is there that? Can't be too much. Jesus, Chloe, look up at the sky. Beautiful. I don't give a shit. The world is ending. Cool. You're not listening. Something major is going down. That's right. Nathan Prescott is going down. Welcome to the end of the world, ladies. I'm glad you decided to escort me. You look really good, Warren. Are you alright after today? I'm glad you stopped me. Nathan is dangerous. Where is he? I didn't see him at the dorm again. I was held up in my room. Dude, have you been drinking? <laughs> well, if you consider half a beer drinking... Let's go, Max. Hey, hey. I know this is a bad time, but can I get one picture? I've been feeling like this might be actually the end of the world, so I want to have something for prosperity. Well, I don't blame you, Warren. I know, I know. I'm a pain in the booty. Just one picture. Uh. Action. We've got no time for this shit. Come on, Max. Sorry. I just wanted to feel like a normal student after this week's ultra-violence. I never hit anybody like that before. I was always the one getting my ass kicked. Hey, we still need your expert help. If you see Nathan, text me immediately, okay? And do not let him see you. He won't. I know how to be invisible here. Not to me, Warren. Text soon.
You need to find Nathan and take him down. Excuse me, but I'm going in. Sorry, but this is the VIP section. Members only. Okay? I don't give a shit about being a member. I just want to talk Victoria to Victoria specifically told me not to let you in. Nice try. Too bad you're not a member. Listen! No, you listen. Courtney is supposed to be the VIP gatekeeper, not me. So please go. I need to find a way to enter this bullshit club. If I get s yo maximum overdrive, about time you got here to save this lame rave. Want to get ripped? Uh, you look pretty ripped already, Justin, and not happy. Why did you even come tonight? Where else could I go in Arcadia Bay on a Thursday night? Besides, Dana is here. She's not with me. So yes, this party sucks. Speaking of, have you seen Nathan? Oh, he should be freaking out in the VIP lounge with that whore text club. Fucking hate those snobby douchebags. Especially Nathan. That dude is gonna go on a rampage soon. You might be right, so stay away from him tonight, okay? Spread the word. Max, I know I'm twisted, but your face looks so fucking intense. And your voice sounds different. You okay? How about a quick dab? Uh, no, I'm, I'm cool, Justin. And I have to get going. Maybe you should go chill somewhere else. Fucking A, Maximus. You're right. I'm only torturing myself here. Plus, I'm too loaded. It's time to get my board and grind. The tide is turning. I'd like to tear every one of these things down. Somebody's either having sex or throwing up. Or both. Good night, sweet prince. Vortex Club Party! Oh no. Chloe must be around. What would a shitty party be without glow sticks? I'm so not impressed by this VIP crap.
must have missed something. I should rewind. missed something. I better rewind. Is the vortex cold? So his ass has to be here tonight. So I heard they wouldn't like Kate Marsh in the vortex. Call. You danced worse than my dad. Yay, Max! I can't believe you showed up. Why didn't you tell me? We could have dressed up together. As you can tell by my outfit, I, I was in a hurry. Dana, have you seen Nathan around? Hell no! I've been dancing with Trevor. Come on and dance with us. Look at Trevor trying to bust a move. You guys look really happy together. I think we are. He's so different than Logan. We actually talk about life. And he knows how to be sick. I hear you, Dana. But I want you to avoid Nathan if you see him, okay? I will if I want to have fun. I still feel sorry for him. He needs help, but not from his family. What do you know about his dad, Sean Preston? Uh, rich. And rich. And a dickhead, according to Nathan. The Prescotts can't buy a happy family or a happy club. Sounds like you're ready for a change. I don't need any club to be cool or have friends. <laughs> Look at you. Plus, I like hanging with Trevor and his skater friends. No drama.
That sounds like a plan, Dana. I'm glad Trevor is with you tonight. Thanks. <laughs> the boy cannot dance, though. Look at that. I know Victoria is next on Nathan's hit list. Should I warn her? I think my photo is very powerful. Victoria, your picture... Sorry, Max. Vortex Club members only. Sorry. I'm on the guest list. I'm taking you off. Go fuck yourself, you Victoria. I don't have time for this bullshit. Real cute, Max. You still pissed about me taking your picture? Do you even have a clue what's going on at Blackwell? Kate Marsh killed herself in front of you and me, everybody here. That's not my fault, Max. Don't you even try to blame me. I blame Nathan for dosing Kate, but nobody at that party even cared she was so wasted. It's a fucking party! Everybody is wasted! What do you want from me? Some humanity, Victoria. Well, you got Nathan busted out of Blackwell, so you should be happy. And I'm the only person here who cares what Nathan is going through. This is bigger than a problem, child. I'm not perfect, okay? I'm a teenager. I'm only here to become a photographer and get famous. Your photographs suck, Victoria. You make fun of my selfies, but most of your photos are basically headshots. I don't think Richard Avedon has anything to worry about. Oh, you did not just say that. I can't wait to see you choke when Mr. Jefferson selects my incredible photo for the Everyday Heroes contest. Uh, yeah, I saw you try to blackmail Mr. Jefferson last night because you're so incredible. That was so pathetic, Victoria. Uh, no, Creeper. We were talking about the contest. You didn't even enter a picture, so stop acting like you care. Like Mr. Jefferson gives a shit about you either. I mean, have you ever even watched his body language when you try to cuddle up to him? <sighs> Sad Ha ha! By the way, nobody says we have to be friends, Max. Good. I have real friends. I wouldn't want to fake them. You try to act like all shy and humble. You took a picture of me covered in paint. Who do you think set up the paint can to fall? It wasn't Samuel, dumbass. And you trashed my room after, so stop whining. You did that? You bitch. You could have killed me with that fucking can. I almost got that freak Samuel fired. And that would have been bad. You're right, Victoria, for once. You actually think you're better than me? No fucking way. Guess I'll never be a member of the Vortex Club. No, bitch. You won't. Never mind. It was good talking to you, Victoria. As usual. Eat a dick, Max. You're just jealous of me because I actually do the things you can't. 
I put my photographs out there while you hide behind your lame retro self. At least tell me where Nathan is. Uh, why do you want to know? Principal Wells wanted to see us tonight. It's no big deal. Then why ask me? I haven't even seen him tonight. Adios. Au revoir. Should I have warned Victoria about Nathan? That oxygen kit might come in handy if somebody pinches. Oh my god. Max, seriously? What are you doing here? Taylor, have you seen Nathan yet? If I did, it's none of your business. This is a VIP area, so you should get back to the beach. Eat shit, Taylor. Enjoy the end of the world. Okay, like... Maybe I will. There you are. Chloe, Nathan isn't here. Nobody has seen him tonight. He's definitely not upstairs or in the locker. Damn. Maybe he's hiding in his dorm. Then let's bail. Nathan can't hide anymore. So, you made it. Oh, uh, hey, Mr. Jefferson. Uh, are you both okay? You look like you're on a, a mission. Oh, uh, I was just... Looking for Nathan. Uh huh. I didn't know you were pals with him. I haven't seen him since this afternoon. He, he seemed pretty upset. I think he's still quite upset over the uh, the whole Kate situation. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's talk later, Max. I have to announce the winner of the contest. I do wish you would have entered. You have to build up that resume and portfolio, but I know you will. Thanks. I hope so. Okay, excuse me. I'm almost on. Let's get the hell out of here, Max. Okay, okay, everybody calm down. Thank you. Thank you. I, I appreciate it. I, look, I don't want to get in the way of the party, but it's time to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes Contest. Before I do, I want to thank everybody who entered their photograph and everybody who thought about entering. Now this is the most important step in being an artist. Sharing your work with the world. All of you represent Blackwell Academy and everything our school stands for. As far as I'm concerned, you're all everyday heroes. The envelope, please. And the winner is... Oh my, what a shocker. Victoria Chase. Oh my god! Thank you so much, Mr. Jefferson. It was your incredible photography that brought me to Blackwell, and I hope I can live up to your name and fame. I also want to thank all the students for being so dedicated in their pursuit. And I'd like to dedicate this prize to the memory of Kate Marsh. She was the real everyday hero of Blackwell. Thank you. You suck, Victoria. Victoria won. Big surprise. I can't believe she blackmailed Jefferson. Yes, I can. You fucking cares. Rachel is still dead, and I want Nathan's punk ass. Now. Me too. Let's go check out the dormitories. Oh, Christ. Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Shit. We have to go to the junkyard right now. Just get ready to use your rewind fast if Nathan tries to jump us. Kill that little psycho. Hey, I can't. 
focus if you're yelling. Please. Come on, come on. Nathan needs to die now. Oh, for God's sake, Chloe, you have to be quiet. We could die, okay? You're gonna suffer, Nathan. Max, please hurry! Oh god, Max, look. She's still there. Don't look, Chloe.
Previously on Life is Strange. Whoa! Whoa. What did you find? Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. We can't trust anybody except each other. You know more about her than me. No. You and Chloe think you know more than anybody. Like all teenagers. Oh, look. The Wonder Twins. What are you doing in my dorm? You are so fucking dead! Ah. Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. <sighs> Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. What are you doing here, Max? Victoria has to be next. What a lame gimmick. Rachel, why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard! Max, we have to find that spot, now! Oh. Oh. Rachel, why? I'm sorry, Chloe. I'm so sorry. I know you're close to Nathan, but your life is in serious danger. Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Oh god, Max, look. She's still there. Oh, no! Chloe! How? What the fuck? Perhaps her. 
hurt. Of course. And right in front of me. God, I don't remember anything that happened. This must be the same drug Nathan used on Kate. <laughs> Finally, I'm free. Almost. If I could move it towards me. I don't remember anything that happened. I hate looking at myself like that. You'll pay for this, Jefferson. I promised I would never go back in time like this again. But this is the only way. Slightly unconscious model is often the most open and honest. No vanity or posing, just pure expression. Oh Christ, look at that perfect face. Hold that stare there! Stay still! My shot! But please don't worry. We have all the time in the world. For now. I knew you were special the second I saw your first selfie. Yes, I still hate that word. But I love the purity of your own image. Not like Rachel, who was always looking in the wrong places. Poor Rachel. Let me try this angle. Don't move! Oh. Oh, much better. Thanks, Max. If only Nathan could see this setup. He tried so hard. But you can't just throw a few subjects around and expect a cohesive style or theme. But he had an eye for shadows, and an eye for a whole lot more, as his elite family will find out, along with Arcadia Bay. Nice. Good. Oh, those eyes. It's just too bad you're so goddamn nosy, Max. But this room... Is under 24 7 surveillance, so all I had to do was text you from Nathan's phone. And you fell right into my hands. You really should have focused on schoolwork, not private detecting with your little friend. Chloe. Chloe, right. Hey, I'm sorry that I killed. that Nathan killed her in self defense. But she had a troubled history, like most Arcadia Bay dropouts. Nobody will be surprised. Or care. Though I promise, people will care when you die tonight, Max. I wasn't lying when I said you have a gift. Okay. Now this looks good. Maybe a few more close-ups. Max, please do not move so much. I need you posed and framed my way. Maybe a new dose will calm you oh, down. No. No. <laughs> Max. 
Now don't move or this will hurt much. Stupid bitch! You just don't listen, do you? In fact, you never did hear much in my class. If you had, you might have seen all this coming. God damn, you are a fighter, though. I've had my eye on you, and I've noticed that you've been more fearless this week than maybe your whole life. No. Remember my number one rule. Always oh. take a oh. shot. Okay, I broke those vials when I kicked the trolley. Whoa, I I'm definitely more awake in this photo. I could try this one. This might work. Please work. I'm getting some spectacular images here, Max. Yes, Victoria would kill to be in your place, but she doesn't understand our connection. You're the winner, Max. I choose you, your portrait. Fuck you. You're trying too hard. I know you're scared. You all have the same doe-eyed look when you wake up here, replaced by fear as you realize what's about to happen. Mr. Jefferson, why are you doing this? Oh, Max, I'm so glad you asked that question. As simply put, I'm obsessed with the idea of capturing that moment innocence evolves into corruption. That shift from black to white to gray and beyond. Most models are cynical. They lose that naivete. However, some Blackwell students carry their hope and optimism with them like an aura and those lucky few become my models my subjects yes you're a psychopath and this is your last session au contraire max i'm so sane that nobody knows what's happening to you right now and don't get me started on your late partner 
I had enough of those faux punk sluts in my Seattle days. You killed Chloe. You murdered my best friend. She had a loaded weapon. This was clearly self-defense, but that's what happens when you play with guns. Or try to fuck with me. It's better when they don't know. Like pure, sweet Kate. Artists don't drive teenagers to suicide for any bullshit muse. You trained Nathan to drug Kate. To take photos of her. That's why she's dead. Which makes me sad, Max. I will miss her. Kate had such a strong spirit, it was very satisfying to break it down. You will not get away with this. I want you to know that. Too bad you already made a convincing argument against Nathan in the principal's office. Thank you so much for setting him up for me. I do know that the Prescotts are going to have a major scandal when the town finds out what their elite son has been doing for homework. You used Nathan. I prefer the term manipulated. Like with an image. Nathan's was easy to twist around. I became a sort of father figure for Nathan. It happens often in teacher-student relationships. It was kind of... Touching for a while. Did you tell him everything about your plans at Blackwell? Don't be stupid, Max. I told him what he needed to hear. In return, I had access to the Prescott fortune. Who do you think paid for this glorious darkroom and equipment? How else could I get all these hip new drugs for my subjects? Rachel Amber was your victim, not your subject. Oh. Rachel Amber. That's the real tragedy. Nathan thought he could be an artist like me. Instead, the dumbass gave her an overdose. Chloe and Rachel. You killed both of them. They're fucking together in heaven right now. Is that what you want to hear? Why? 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 Start listening to me, you dumb cunt. I'm sorry, Max. <laughs> that was not cool. Anyway, Rachel is dead. But no tears. Los Angeles would have killed her anyway, so look at this as a favor. You're evil. Oh, I see. You're good because you stopped your friend from beating Nathan up. I cared more about Nathan than you did. No, you didn't. It's just too bad that he fell in lust with Rachel. He actually thought he could mimic what I do with a camera and subject, like father, but not like son. Where is Nathan now? Dead and buried. After what he did to Rachel, I knew I couldn't keep him as a protege for much longer. Now the police will never find his body. Do you finally get it now, Max? I can't compromise my vision with amateurs. You are an amateur. Look at the trail of death you left behind. You can't blame all this on Nathan. I don't care what you do to me. You're gonna die, motherfucker. For Chloe, and Rachel, and everybody else. I do love your spirit, Max, but you brought yourself here. By your own choice. Anyway, I like my models to be seen and not heard. So I have to make sure there's nothing left behind of you. Okay. Now, let's see how these shots came out. I can see why your instant camera is so appealing. You don't need a computer to print your work out. Alone with a heart A battered old heart A heart that needs ten Sorry. This is not... This one. I have all those photos in my diary. This could be a way out. Max, I wish you could see yourself now. This one is out of focus, but that's my fault, Max. How I'll get through today. 
God. I wish you had been around. If I talk to him, I distract him, maybe he'll give up a photo. I need to figure this out. Okay. Wait! Please, Mr. Jefferson. Max, I would love to talk shop, but I really need to go over these pictures. Especially while they're fresh in my mind. I think our session was a career high for me. Let me go and I'll help you. Let me help you. Please. Don't beg. Never beg. I hate that. Anyway, let's enjoy our final moment before I have to end our memorable session with your death. Mr. Jefferson. Max, I would love to talk shop, but I really need to go over these pictures. Especially while they're fresh in my mind. I think our session was a career high for me. You... you still have my diary. Don't worry. Nobody's going to read it. Thanks for reminding me. There's nothing more innocent than a teenager's diary. Oh, look at your selfies. What a waste of talent. Look at that shot, Max. You can do so much better. this all started. Max, this could be your chance to fix everything for good. I could frame any one of you and capture you in a moment of desperation. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb I'm word back. A wonderful photographic trick. Right back where I started this insane week. And nobody course, is going to hurt Chloe know, ever the again. The portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max... Since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? <laughs> Who cares? This class is hella bullshit. I'll pretend you didn't say that and let you try to answer one more. Sorry, there's no time left. I mean, your class is almost over. Oh. Well. Thanks for the warning, Max. So, the Daguerrean process made portraiture quite popular. Mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you finish reading the assigned chapters. Clearly, Max doesn't have the, uh, time. Hey guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday time Heroes Time to change time. The winter to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the First, artwork. let's make it real easy to capture Mark Jefferson. And Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Bastard. I 
have to warn David about Jefferson and the dark room. All I need is David's number, and Jefferson is one text closer to life without parole. I should be able to track down David's number from the school pamphlet. Found you. For once, David, I'm praying you'll overreact to this as much as everything else. And take Jefferson down fast. I don't want anybody to feel excluded from this process, but I also want everybody to know that this photographic world is not for everybody. I have my moment in the camera. Everybody should You wanted me to enter the contest, asshole. So maybe I'll be going to San Francisco. And Jefferson. You'll be going to prison. The past within the past. Am I pushing myself too hard? It doesn't matter what happens to me. I have to save Chloe. I can't go past these photo boundaries, so I need to fix everything from here. Mr. Jefferson, we need to talk. Uh. Can you see I'm talking to Mr. Jefferson now? I can see you're kissing ass again. Nothing new. What did you just say? Hold on, Victoria. Are you okay, Max? Not until Victoria knows that hiding behind a screen and posting videos of people is totally fucked up. You know how easy it is to hurt somebody? To destroy their life? Are you proud of yourself? If you have any feelings left, you should think about your actions. Listen, I, I didn't... Of course you did. You're so insecure, you can't even be happy with your own talent. You have to try and bring everybody down to your mean and ugly level. Okay, I do not have to listen to this bullshit. Do I, Mr. Jefferson? Well, it looks like you already did, Victoria. Then I guess I'm done talking. I sure hope so. I'm not going to say I didn't enjoy that, but why? Here's my photograph for the Everyday Heroes contest. Oh, uh, that was easy. No, it wasn't easy at all. Well, I, uh, I, I can't prejudge yet, but I'm very happy you decided to enter. That means a lot to me. And Blackwell. The, the first step for any artist is to put themselves out there in the world without fear. To be... innocent. Or guilty. Ah. Uh, well, and thanks for the photo, and maybe both of us will be jet-setting to San Francisco this Friday. Or maybe only one of us will be going. Don't be so modest, Max. Anything can happen in a week. As you're going to find out, Mr. Jefferson.
Whoa! Okay. You're okay, Max. You're safe. On a plane. I hope I did everything right this time. Good work, David. Chloe. Oh, you're alive. Oh, you're alive. I did it. I fixed everything. Well, sir. I admit, I love being called an artist. We're almost in San Francisco. I'm so stressed, but I'm so excited too. Excuse me, sir. It's so weird to be in between realities. Everything is out of focus and in the distance. Aw, I haven't seen Hot Dog Man in forever. Chloe and I used to totally play the video game and watch him all the time. <laughs> when we were innocent. The beginning of the end for Jefferson and the Prescotts. in your seat and stow any electronic gear until the plane is on the ground and at the gate. Thank you. We're starting our descent in a few minutes. It's a beautiful day in San Francisco with clear skies and cool 60 degrees. We hope you enjoyed your trip and we thank you very much for choosing Pacific West Air. Come fly with us anytime. Uh, I don't think so. I'm hoping these airline seats get smaller so I won't have to fly at all anymore. How did you sleep? Hope I wasn't snoring out loud, Max. Just a bit. It's been a tough week at Blackwell. So I hope you'll forgive me. Between Mr. Jefferson and Prescott's, things have been hectic, to say the least. I totally get it, Principal Wells. That's a smart way of telling me to stop whining. We are proud of you for representing Blackwell at the Everyday Heroes Contest. I know I'm not exactly the guy you wanted in San Francisco, but we all want you to have a great experience here. I already am, and we're not even there. Oh, Christ. Another nosebleed? Max... You're not just screwing around with time. San Francisco is so cool, and this gallery is huge. So is the buffet. 
If an event skimps on the food, you know it's a bad event. As long as I don't have to eat any caviar. This is your day, Max. You can do whatever you want. I hope you take advantage of your status and talk to as many influential people here as possible. Work the room. I don't know. I, I feel so weird, like I'm a little kid hanging with the adults. Max, after this week, you are certainly not a little kid anymore. In fact, you're a noteworthy adult being honored by your peers. Now you have to start acting like the photographer you want to be. Hell, I wanted to be in charge of a big school someday. So I started taking charge of things when I was young. <laughs> Ask my poor classmates. Max, I'm going to eat up that caviar so you don't have to. Uh, better get in there and start schmoozing. You know, I won't always be here to take charge. But you come talk to me whenever you want. Come on, Max. After everything that's happened, this should be the least scary thing you've ever done. Bowser Max, you did it. There I am, along with all the other winners. I should say artists instead. I love how much cool art is going on all over the Bay Area. I have some mysteries. Wait. Why, good morning. You must be Max Caulfield. Congratulations for your everyday heroes photo. The exhibition is quite impressive, especially with your entry. I heard Mark Jefferson was supposed to Not be my style, but the neon is a nice representation. I have one of his monitors. Oh shit. Pretentious alert. Serious cash. Are you Max Caulfield? Bravo on your entry. I'm the art critic for Iris N Magazine, and we would love to include you in a piece about future trendsetters in photography. I'll send you the details this week, if that's okay. Congratulations for your piece. I guess I have to get used to the idea of fancy food I don't want to eat. I know it's kind of simple, but I find this haunting. Right? The instant print makes it look timeless. N uh, who's the artist? Oh, hey, you're the one who entered the self-portrait. Or actually, do you call it a selfie? Anyway, I was very impressed about how you subverted it to make all of your photo subjects the focus. Oh, uh, very smart. Champagne makes me think of me and Chloe getting busted with that wine. Like, I do not understand art. Well, I have to say, this is the best everyday hero show I've seen since it began. All the pictures say a lot about our times. Bravo. I guess everybody is a photographer now. That is different. Loving the retro vibe. Me too. I always get so Hey, I love your shot. I just wanted to say congratulations. And I hope you get a lot more attention. Usually these kind of contests, they, they put me to sleep, but I like how this show is about specific actions. You know? This makes me feel so sad. Like I was back in high school. Bad exposure, bad framing, bad picture. Hey, and there she is to save the day. Hi.
You did it, Max. You're a real artist. At least, for today. Are you okay? We lost uh, you there for a second. Your nose. I'm okay. Uh, jet lag. High altitude. Oh, you left the ringer off, idiot. Oh, come on. Please answer. What? Oh no. Chloe, where are you? I'm so fucking scared! I'm, I'm by the beach! I'm Chloe! Stuck. Can you hear me? Hello? Hello? Oh my god! The tornado was real! Oh, I didn't fix shit! Chloe will die! Arcadia Bay is gonna be destroyed! There has to be a way to stop this! For good! No fucking way. Chloe can't die again. I have to save her. I heard Mark Jefferson was supposed to be here tonight. Not anymore. That was so shocking. How do these galleries afford to rent here? Please, no. I, I have to be in Arcadia Bay to help Chloe. Not here.
Excuse me, I'd love to ask you a few questions about your work. Sorry, but... doing the time. My previous timeline was so perfect. I'll accept that I need to be in Arcadia Bay, not San Francisco. I just have to make one simple change so I won't end up in San Francisco. Simple. Sorry, San Francisco. Chloe comes first. Here again? I thought I fixed everything. What did you say, Max? What? Jefferson should be in jail, not here. Jesus. It's like you're back in my class. You're still spacing out. It might be cool if you took one of your patented selfies now. The transformation between the old Max and the new Max. Anyway, answer my question, please. Your nose is bleeding. Probably gave you too big a dose. Sorry about that, Max. But considering you're about to... Your iris, that dilation like a shudder. The pictures you're taking of me now. Too bad you could have won the contest, but you destroyed your own beautiful photograph. What a waste. Sorry, I burned all your stuff. I got a little carried away. Fuck. He burned my diary. Always. That's why I'm still here. Especially since you've developed from nerd to hero within a week. There's something... weird going on with you. Whoa. Did you see how crazy it is outside? Like I said... Something weird. There's that fear. Oh, Max, it's an honor working with you on these final sessions. I hope these images will be appreciated for what they truly capture. The loss of youth. <laughs> At least, that's the last lecture you'll ever have to hear from me. And I promise you, no more nosebleeds. Mr. Jefferson, please, don't do this. You don't know what's happening. Shh, 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 shh. Quiet. Quiet, Max. Please, don't do this. I promise. 
promise. This final dose won't hurt. What? No! Jesus! David Madsen! He's out cold. Good. I always hated that fascist fuck. Everybody at Blackwell did, right, Max? Okay. Let's try this one last time. And I promise you, no more nosebleeds. Wait, hold on. Can I... Can I please ask you for one last... request? Oh, you got me, Max. How can I deny that face? And would you mind turning off the lights? They make me squint, so I won't look good for the shot. Now, you're thinking like a real photographer. And I don't want your last memory to be bad lighting. I promise, this final dose won't hurt. What? David, watch out! Time to shut the fuck up, okay? Bad timing, Max. Too early. And I promise you. And would you mind turning off the lights? They make me squint, so I won't look good for the shot. Now, you're thinking like a real photographer. And I don't want your last memory to be bad lighting. I promise, this final dose won't hurt. What? David, watch out! How? How did you know that? Jesus. David Madsen. He's out cold. Good. I always hated that fascist fuck. Everybody at Black...